So I have a problem with unnecessary risk. I have a problem with risks being imposed on others for someone's benefit. Uh, but but I'm not the guy who says you should never take any risk at all, okay? And to prove that, <laughs> I sent Spencer a picture of a shark, which I presume everyone's going to get to see. But I'm a, I'm a scuba, di scuba diver, and yes, I have the insurance that covers if I have the compression illness and all that. You can Scuba diving is not the world's safest activity. But you can get insurance for that for a previous discussion. You know, it doesn't, doesn't make it safe. I, but I, I do it because I, I follow the safety rules very rigorously. Uh, you know, I dive conservatively. I don't, I don't push to deeper depths. I don't exceed my times. I, you know, I, I do all the stuff you're supposed to do. I get my gear checked. I, I'm, I'm a very conscientious driver, diver who follows the, uh, the um, safety rules. Uh, but when it comes to diving with sharks, it turns out that there are ways to dive with sharks that are really stupid and there are ways that, that work just fine. <laughs> and if you go to the Caribbean and there's Caribbean reef sharks, which are sort of like the golden labs of the shark world. There, I mean, nurse sharks, the nerf sharks, they're even more docile. They just sit on the bottom and don't care. You know, they just stare at you, right? <laughs> the Caribbean reef sharks are kind of acquisitive that if there's a diver in the water and they, they come check you out. And if you don't chase them or scare them off, you just sort of hang there in the middle of the water. It's, I love scuba diving because it's like you're flying. Oh, that's you're awesome. Just, you're 30 feet above the bottom or 20 feet above the bottom, whatever it is, and you just hang there like you're flying. And so the shark comes around, you just sort of hang there, and they come and check you out. 